So, hello. Welcome again, another Friday, another video. And I'd just like to say that I'm really appreciative of everyone's support recently with the, the, the videos are starting to really sort of gather momentum and we're getting lots of subscribers to the channel. Really welcome to see those sort of subscribers sort of build up and, and just see how well all the videos are doing and, and we're pushing out the education for endodontic treatment out there into the into the whole wide world. And if you're new to this channel, I'm Sam. I'm a, 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 an endodontist who I work in, in North Wales in, in the UK. And if you haven't dropped a subscribe, please, please, do a, uh, a subscribe, it, it just helps the channel grow and we can you know, kind of, I can do lots lots of videos like this. And and this video, I know I said it last week, but this video is is fantastic. Okay, this is this is this is the kind of root canal uh, work that you, you go to work for and you complete and it looks absolutely beautiful. And this is a case of a lower six which is the restorability of this tooth is 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 is, is pretty bad um, you know i've removed the old filling material and we're looking at the uh, the cavity floor here and we can see that it's highly highly sclerosed you know you can just about see uh the 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 three uh, canal orifices here and if you're not aware of Krasner and Ranko, the really, really famous paper, when you're looking for canal orifices, you're looking for symmetry. And we can see here that we can see the mesolingual, we can see the, the mesobuccal, and then sort of symmetrical, you can draw a line. You can see like a developmental line down the, down the middle of this uh, access cavity here. And you can see that the distal canal is practically symmetrical with the two other uh, canals here and that's going to be really really significant when we talk about finding this um, second uh, this 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 second this elusive uh, second uh, canal okay so I'm using some orifice openers here and I don't often use orifice openers when I am um, accessing a tooth um, ma mainly for cost and mainly because I don't like ledging the tooth because these are so if you go a bit too far you can ledge the canal but in this case because it was so highly sclerosed I just wanted to use this RF soap and just to just to open it up and like I say I don't want to go too far with this with this uh, type of file because if you go too far because it's so fat I don't want to ledge the tooth and that's going to give me more work okay so with this protocol, as um, if you watch many, many of my videos, um, I like to use HyFlex, and I use a size 1504 um, glide path file in all the canals, and I like to use D finders, so I like to use the uh, the size 10 D finders. Lots and lots of irrigation, and I am using the size 25 uh, HyFlex, the 25 uh, variable taper. Okay. Um, some people, you know, um, think that maybe the size 25 variable taper is a little bit too big. The, the, the sort of um, the ethos at the moment in endodontics is to use um, narrow tapered files to preserve tissue. But um, as I practice and as I do lots and lots of uh, root canals, I just feel like at the moment this high flex is, is, is kind of a nice kind of way up between... Um, creating an, um, a, a, a wide enough prep so it's so it's easy to obturate and and, and also uh, to, to, to sort of conserve tooth tissue other endodonts would say a high flex 25 is not conserving tooth tissue so I'm definitely not using a, a you know wave one gold 45 at large so once I have opened up uh, the canals here and I've shaped them I'm gonna go for the cone fit radiograph and what I'm doing here is I'm using these matched cones by by high flex and um, again I just like to push them really really nicely to length and another kind of little trick that I like to do with the with with the with the uh, with the GP points is I like to snip off uh, the end so I, I don't like excess GP points kind of during the comb for uh, radiograph sort of waving around um, the reason for this is, is usually when you take the rubber dam frame off and you're doing the uh, the cone fit radiograph, I feel like the excess GP sort of bit that that, that fits over the edge. That kind of um, sometimes when you when the patient bites down on the rubber dam, it kind of pulls the GP point out. 
and, and, and even if it doesn't, you, I kind of get like a bit of a, uh, a bit of paranoia that if it is short, maybe, maybe that's the case. So I just like to cover all bases and I just like to na- make a little snip. And also when you come to arbitrate the tooth, you know exactly where it's going to go to. And I take my comfort. So I think that all three GP cones here are short. And, and, and sometimes we like to think, well, you know, maybe it's the radiographic apex. But on these, they're, they're, they're all short. And also what I see is that um, there may be a second um, uh, uh, root here on the distal. And, and at this point, I'm not entirely sure because sometimes you get these kind of like figure of eight kind of root morphology and it looks like there's a double root, but actually there's a kind of a, there's kind of a, um, like, like I say, like a figure of eight, like kind of a, two tubes that are really, really close together and um, and that's kind of given that sort of um, uh, sort of suggestion that maybe there, there are two roots. So I've seen that might be a distal canal and I think it's only prudent for me to, uh, sorry, a second distal canal and I think it's only prudent for me to kind of have a little look and you can, if you can see here, it's right down the middle and there's a possibility, there's like a little developmental line and there's maybe a second canal and I'm just using these diamond tip ultrasonic tips here just to very judiciously remove some of the dentin and it there's, there's no obvious drop there you know and and this could be because there's there's uh, there's, there's no canal or that's because you have not put enough in and a great thing to do is use these high energy ultrasonic tips and what that does is if is if if there's only like a bit of thin sort of roof of dentin over a canal if you use that it'll sort of um, vibrate into uh, into the canal space and I've moved the tip onto this these really really thin type sort of tips and I'm just very very gently just looking around for this this canal and you know, I'm just, I'm just not convinced, if I'm honest with you, that there is a second uh, tube here. I'm just not convinced. And, and what I don't want to do, the worst thing to do is to perforate the tooth. Of course, I could um, do a, a cone beam CT scan on this tooth, but um, it's it, it kind of in, in the moment, it's easy to have hind, you know, 20, hindsight's 20, 20, isn't it? But in the moment, it's just, um, you know, it's, 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 it's you've got to kind of um, use make a command decision so in this case I'm just using like a um, a, a glide path uh, rotary file really really careful you know this 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 can cause a uh, file fracture so you've got to be really really careful and I just cannot find um, the this this supposed second canal so I'm going to abandon that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to recheck the working length on all of the canals because they were all a bit short maybe one wasn't short and then we're gonna um we're gonna re-prep the canals that were obviously short and in this case there were two canals which for some reason um the the the, the working length wasn't correct and then we're gonna fit the cones ready for the cone fit radiograph and again i gonna mention this before um i am a big proponent of retaking comfort radiographs and what i don't like doing is i'm a bit short or a bit long or i'll just make an adjustment and then i'll fill it i always like to check with a with as many comfort radiographs as possible and again we take them all of these are nicely to length and and i can just i'm, I'm almost adamant now that there is a second canal and i've just got to think to myself i did abandon it last time i just need to have another really really good look and rather than making um, adjustments or, or searching for this extra canal where I was searching it I think it might be a good idea to kind of see if there is a split uh, in in this sort of main canal here and as you see in a moment I'm just gonna remove this dent in and it just reveals a um, uh, uh, the, the, this second canal here and and you know the, w- w- we're coming right to the end of the appointment here. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to fit the cones I'm ready to seal the tooth but there's that kind of um, strong sense in me to make sure I do a really really nice job because obviously it's in the best patient's best interest but as and when this tooth fails um, and then you take the CBCT and you feel like you've missed the canal well that's 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 not great for your ego but also it's not great for the patient so it doesn't really matter if I'm just about to finish. It's it's really, really important that we do a nice job. And you can see here that there is a, 
a second canal and there's kind of like a bridge of dentin that's going to be removed now with this ultra ultrasonic tip and um the the, the nurse is asking me what's this and i'm and i'm telling her that obviously the uh that the, we, we found an extra canal you know luckily you know I, I we we are we are close to the end but but luckily um with the case in in with this tooth we managed to um, get to length quite easily because obviously this 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 canal could have been quite sclerosed and we managed to shape this tooth really really quickly and it didn't really take as much time to uh to, to, to finish off this this root canal and you know overall it's it it looks super super nice as i always say favorite thing to say everything looks super super nice um and this this shows the benefit of using a microscope. You know, I suppose using loops in this case, using a microscope will be uh, will be just completely impossible. And there you have it. This is the post op. Looks really, really, really nice. I suppose the media lingual there. This so this is the this is the the obturation on the left root to the right. So on the inside, that did look short, but actually on the um on the apex locator that was showing zero for sure so we know for definite that that tooth is to length and yeah just to obturate this tooth i think in this case i um anticipated that i was going to use one vertical compaction so i needed to use a uh, a sealer which was uh, okay to use with heat so i use ah plus in this case and overall again perfect result gorgeous result told the patients he probably thought I was a crazy person because I was so uh, happy about it. But yeah, super, super nice. And again, I'll say it right at the start of the video, say it at the start, uh, I'll say it at the end. We like, I like making these videos. Please, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or again, any criticisms, anything you do different or any videos you'd like to see on endodontics, please, please comment in the section below. And I'll see you next Friday.